Genesis chapter 43. Now the famine was still severe in the land. So when they had eaten all the grain they had brought from Egypt, their father said to them, Go back, buy us a little more food. But Yada answered him and said, The man solemnly warned us, saying, You shall not see my face unless your brother is with you. If you will send our brother with us, then we will go down and buy you more food. But if you will not send him, then we will not go down. For the man said to us, You shall not see my face unless your brother is with you. Then Israel asked, Why did you bring this trouble on me by telling the man you had another brother? But they replied, The man asked us pointedly about ourselves and our kindred. He asked, Is your father still alive? Do you have another brother? And we answered him only as he asked. Could we have known that he would say, Bring your brother down? Then Yada said to Israel his father, Send the boy along with me, and we will leave at once, so that we and you and our children may live and not die. I myself will guarantee his safety. From my hand I will be responsible for him. If I do not bring him to you and set him in front of you, then let me bear the blame before you all of my life. If we had not lingered, surely by now we could have gone and returned two times. And their father Israel said to them, If it must be so, then do this. Take some of the best products of the land in your bags and carry a present to the man. A little balm, a little honey, spices and myrrh, pistachio nuts, and almonds. Take double the amount of money with you and return the money that was put back into your sacks. Maybe it was a mistake. Take your brother also and go back to the man. And may Yahweh Almighty grant you mercy before the man, so that he will let your other brother and Benjamin come back with you. If I am bereaved, I am bereaved. So the men took gifts and the double amount of money. And, along with Benjamin, they hurried down to Egypt and presented themselves to Yosef. When Yosef saw Benjamin with them, he said to the steward of his house, Take these men to my house, and slaughter an animal, and prepare it, for these men will eat with me at noon. Then the man did as Yosef told him, and the man brought the man into Yosef's house. Now the men were frightened when they were brought into Yosef's house, for they thought, It is because of the silver that was put back into our sacks the first time. He is seeking an excuse to attack us, and seize us as slaves, and take our donkeys. When they came near to the entrance to Yosef's house, they spoke to Yosef the steward, saying, We truly came down the first time to buy food, but at the place where we stopped for the night, we opened our sacks, and each of us found his silver the exact weight in the mouth of his sack. So we have brought it back with us. We have also brought down other silver with us to buy more food. We do not know who put our money in our sacks. But he said, Shalom unto you. Do not be afraid. Yahweh, the father of your father, has given you treasure in your sacks. I receive your silver. Then he brought Simeon out to them. So the man brought the men into Yosef's house and gave them water, and they washed their feet, and then he fed their donkeys. They made their gifts ready for Yosef's coming at noon. For they heard they would eat a meal there. When Yosef came home, they presented him the gifts they brought to his house, and they bowed down before him to the ground. Then he asked them about their well-being, and then he said, Is your father well, the old man of whom you spoke? Is he still alive? And they answered, Your servant, our father, is still alive and well. And they bowed low to pay him honor. Then he looked up, and saw his brother Benjamin, his mother's son, and said, Is this your younger brother, of whom you spoke to me? And he said, Yahweh, be compassionate to you, my son. Now he was deeply moved because of his brother. So Yosef hurried out to find a place to weep, and he went into his chamber and wept there. Then he washed his face and came out. Controlling himself, he said, Serve the food. They served him by himself, the brothers by themselves, and the Egyptians who ate with them by themselves, because Egyptians could not eat with Hebrews, for that is abominable to the Egyptians. And they took their seats at the direction of Yosef's will, in the order of their ages, from the firstborn to the youngest, and the men looked at each other in astonishment. When portions were served to them from Yosef's table, Benjamin's portion was five times as much as any of his brothers, so they feasted with him and drank freely.